Okay, let's talk about creating mirror material in 3ds Max and V-Ray. A basic mirror material is very simple. Uh, I have a scene here. It's set up with an HDRI, and I've got various IES lights going on inside here. Uh, I believe there are two. Just an exterior IES going around the outside, and an interior IES for the insides, and they're all instances. So it's a very simple lighting setup. Uh, I kept the materials on the scene relatively simple uh, because I wanted it to render out quick. I'm going to press Shift L to hide the lights and Shift C to hide the cameras just so those don't get in our way and we can see what's going on. Now all I've done to create this mirror is I've simply put a plane. I've It's right there. I've come in front view. I pressed select, select uh, I selected the viewport, I pressed F, I pressed Z for zoom extents, and then I'm just moving on on my mouse wheel to zoom in here. Now I just took a plane and I simply put it there into the scene, and I pressed T top view, Z to zoom, and scrolled out and then dragged it across to the right place. And dragged it in here and I put it just next to the wall. Okay. That's the plane. And if we look in the material editor, I'll select this material. It's simply this. Now, the way this was created was I took a V-Ray material. If I double click here, it makes it bigger. I'm just going to click show shaded material in viewport and show background. And all you need to do is turn off for now, click on reflect, and make that 255. Now, that's the classic way to create a mirror material in V-Ray. And if I press render, okay, so these are low quality test settings uh, and I'll raise the settings later when we do the final render just so you can see what it'll look like. This is what is normally used for mirror material and this is what I normally use for mirror material and that works fine 90% of the time. Uh, but you should be aware of certain factors with it. You know, whether you want to deal with them, whether you have time to deal with them or not, that's another thing. Okay, these are the reference materials. And here's the issue. If you look at this render, if you look at the color here you're getting and you look at that, and what we've told the material to do is we've literally told the material reflect everything in the scene, be completely glossy, so there's no blurriness here, and that's it. So it's a complete, perfect reflection of everything in the scene. Now, some people will say, you need to make this black, but as this reflection is at 255, that's not gonna make any difference. This blackness only starts making a difference when you start reducing this reflection. And you do that for steels and other things, but for pure chrome, it doesn't make any difference at all. Okay. Here you have a perfect replication, a perfect duplication of this. The color matches. Now, you might say, oh, look, there's this stuff here around here. And the reason for that is because this is the HRI reflecting from this angle, which we're looking at here, from the angle here. From the angle in the viewport we're looking at, that's the reflection we get. When you look at it from bounced off the mirror, that angle, you get a different reflection. But apart from that, it is exactly the same. So let's look at our, our reference images. Now here, this is not that. That's white. This is really dark. So this is not a perfect duplication of this at all. If we look at the next one, this is a different color. These colors aren't this. This is like, got some turquoise going on there. You know, and that's the wall in the background. We can give them the benefit of the doubt and say, well, it's painted differently. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Here again, the color here is different. The color here is different to this. This is, um, maybe you've got some more magenta going on. This has less. So you can see these, uh, this is like a bit greener. Um, again here, this is this gray color. This is a kind of greener color going on here. This floor here is oranger than it is in this reflection. So again, you can see a difference. Here, this is this color. Here, it's 
a different color. And you can pick this, take these into Photoshop and take a look if you like. And these are just references I picked up. Again, here in this, you know, this is an interior of a hotel or something. And this color is different to this. This mirror break makes everything a lot darker. And if you even look here on the edge, you can see that the color here on the edge of the mirror, look at that, look how vastly different that is to that. Here, there's a lot more green on this wall in the mirror. And again, here we have a different color being reflected. So my point is, when you're creating a mirror material, you don't necessarily want to have it perfectly reflective. So different ways of handling that. Uh, the first one, most obvious one, is you just change this reflection color. You know, you bring this down a bit, and maybe you want some more green. You know, if you bring that down, you're going to get that color. But you can just push it just a touch the other way, maybe get a bit more green going on. Um, blue, you're going to go yellow if you go down. If you come too high, you're going to get more blue. So you kind of want to be careful. Like, this is the color here now, which we're introducing. You know, maybe you want something like that. And we've left that black, so we've got it going on in here. It's black, but you can see, like, if I copy this and paste this in here, it's going to come out this weird weirdness like this. So a lot of people say, yeah, just make it black. But again, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. Often I will. Often I'll just drop this way down. I get something like that. Okay. And now if I render out. I'm going to do a region. I'm going to turn this off. Turn off the denoiser here. And you can see immediately here that this is a different color going on. So now it doesn't match that color. It's slightly different. And that's my point, really, is, you know, look at these. Decide what color you're going to go with. Decide what you want to match. And match it, you know. You can make it greener if you like. So we're just going to make this a bit greener. And what do I want? Something like this. Something like that. Something which you're going to notice. I'm not going to bother putting that over there because it's such a small amount. 222. Two, two. That's fine. It's not going to make any difference. So I've made this quite green because I want you to be able to see what's going on here. Um, in reality, I would never have it render that green. So if we make it more, what I would actually do, I'd probably just desaturate this a bunch. That's probably about correct. Uh, maybe move this like that and there. I'm just guessing here at these. Something like that, and again, that's why you do test renders so you can see if they're what you want. Okay, so that's how you create a mirror material. You'll notice the colors here now are slightly different, slightly greener. I think personally I preferred the bluer one. Um, but like I said, look at your reference materials, look at what your client sent you, and just go with that. Uh, let's see what we're doing. And then desaturate. There we go. So now that's the blue version. Um, but there's one more thing here with with mirrors. So when you're using 3ds Max, when you're using V-Ray, I don't know anyone that's bothered to do this next point. I know people have, but I've just never really run into it. It's never really a problem. The the issue here is that you simply have the reflection of the mirror. Now a mirror is normally placed behind glass. Glass also reflects. So if you're going to make this 100% accurate, you really need to have glass in front of it. And you're not going to see it at this angle, at this, at this distance, but you might see it if you're really up close. Um, and if we just place Alt-Q to isolate, I'm just going to hold down Shift and pull forward on the Y there. I'm going to say make a copy, and I'm just going to call this glass. And this back one here, I'm going to call mirror. Over here. 
And if we take the glass, I'm going to put a shell on it. And I'm going to say let's make it 5 mil thick. And we're going to move this back. Actually, I can just align with my align tool up here. Align with this one. X, Y, Z, pivot, pivot. That'll be exactly the same. Just say apply, okay. Alright. I wanted that shell to go the other way. Five, come forward, five. There we go. At least I think I did. Let me just. <laughs> Sometimes you can't tell which way around this is. See that Y is pointing that way? And the Y here is pointing this way. So I think I'm going the right way, but I want to make sure I'm coming out this way. So let's just push this up to. 1,000. Yeah, I am not going the wrong way. Okay, make that 5. And you'll see if I put it up to 1,000, it'll come the right way. Yep. Okay. So now the problem is I've got geometry sitting on geometry, so I've got to move this off here. So the easiest way is just take this and move it. Tiny amount. That's 0.3 of a mil. That would work. Uh, otherwise, you know, you can use a push modifier if you want. And as you move this up, but you can see that it starts messing with my geometry. See these, see, see the edges here, they start screwing around. So that shouldn't, normally that works fine, but in this case it isn't. So what we'll do is just move it. Okay. Now we're going to create a basic mirror material, which you've probably seen me create before, but just to redo it because it's real fast. Uh, reflection, I'm going to turn that up. And refraction, I'm going to turn that up. Da -da! Basic mater mirror material. <laughs> so you assign this. And you can see the reflections here and the reflections, reflections there. Now in this case, this doesn't really duplicate how a, a mirror is created. Normally what happens is the metal here. You know, you get a piece of metal and that's kind of glued to the back. I don't know how they do it exactly, but they basically glue it onto uh, the glass, the back of the glass. So in reality, it's probably something more like that. And I'm not putting reflect on backside because there's no way in a mirror you'll ever see the reflection on the black side because the metal is glued on the back of it. And now if I come out of isolation, Got these two items and I press F9 and I promise you you're gonna see no difference. But if like I say if you were zoomed in on the mirror then you would see a big difference. Well I was definitely wrong you do see a slight difference here um, where the refraction is and now the mirror has a bit more depth but in reality a mirror would normally have a frame so you wouldn't notice that around there. But my point is, is this now has double reflections. You've got reflections on the glass, and you have reflections on the mirror. And I don't think you can really see that here. I'll notice that. I'm going to do a higher resolution render. Again, I don't think you're going to see it. Uh, but it's there. And like I said, it could be important in your renders. And you should know. Like, if you're going to leave it out of your render, which I do all the time, you should still know what's photoreal and what you're leaving out and what you're putting in. So it's your choice rather than, oh, that's just the way it's done. Okay. I'll render this out, better resolution. And I'll put a little bit more blue into the mirror here. Actually, I'll do that now quickly. Here's the mirror material. Let's call this mirror. And basic glass. And I'm put a bit more blue in there. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to render this out, and you'll see what it looks like. 